Bismillah Rahman Ibrahim. Hello guys. So in this video, I am going to give you the demo of my new app and that is the WhatsApp status saver using Java language in Android Studio. Alright, so I have developed this uh, application and I will be going to give you a short demo in this video. So let's get started. Kiss for you. Alright guys, so here you can see I have this app uh, Status Saver Pro and you guys can install it. I will put the link in the video description. Alright, so here we go. We have this, I have this application uh, pre-installed in my phone. So I will just go and open my app and there you can see I have this splash screen and then I have the main or the dashboard icon and also you can see that I have implemented the ad mob ads here so I have uh, put the or displayed the banner ad and here you can see we have two uh, the buttons first is the display status and the second one is the saved alright so here if I uh, if I want to click on the display status so if I click on that and here you can see that I have a dialog and that is asking me to grant the permission because it is required on Android 11 plus devices. Alright, here you can see to get all the status, uh, allow access to dot statuses the folder. That is, the, the, this folder is hidden inside the WhatsApp uh, directory. So we have to grant the permission uh, in order to access it. Alright, all the status. So here if I go back to cancel, so it will be cancelled. But here if I click on grant permission and there it will go me, uh, put me here. Okay, if I go to that, here you can see that I have the interstitial ad mob ad here. I will uh, cancel it. And if I click on grant permission and there you can see that we have uh, this uh, status folder and here I will click on use this folder so I will click on that and it is asking me allow status ever pro to access files in dot statuses folder and if I click on allow and now the permission has been granted so here now if I uh, if I click on the display the status so here and there you can see that uh, I am able to display all the statuses here. All right. And here we have the photos and the videos. So I have put uh, separate all the, all the photos and the videos. So inside our uh, the videos part, you can see that all the videos are being shown here. So if I click on any of the video and there you can see that the video is being played and similarly for if i want to download it suppose here i click on this download button and you can see saved successfully okay and also if i want to share it so i hear from here i can uh, share the uh, the video all right and if i click on any of the uh, photo here if i click on this download button and also here so i am able to uh, save all the videos and the, the images all right now if i go back and if i want to check or display all the videos and audios i will click on save and here you guys can see that uh, uh, we have the interstitial ad here i will skip the video and here you can see it is asking me to allow access to photos and videos on this device so i will click on or uh, allow all and there you can see that I have these uh, pictures as well as the video. So here you guys can see I have this image and suppose if I show you the file the manager here I will click on internal storage here inside the pictures folder we have the status saver pro and here you guys can see I have all the pictures and videos stored here. Alright, so yeah, that is it. So please uh, go and install the application and check if it is working fine. And if it is working fine, please yeah, give me reviews on the Google Play Store and also comment down below if you have any questions regarding this application. So guys, also if you want to uh, take the source code of this app, so please you have to contact me on uh, Facebook. But I won't be giving you this for free, of course. So you have to pay uh, something. 
and then i will be uh, giving you the source code all right guys so th that was it so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye